My name's Danielle. We're a family of two adults and a teenager and a dog. We bought this house several years ago. It was in major need of a renovation. Very drafty, very expensive to run, um, and it was just generally pretty uncomfortable. Having the scorecard one star rating um, to start with set the baseline and it made it um, a good opportunity for us to be able to measure the differences. One of the benefits of having a scorecard assessment done first is that it actually prioritises and tells you where the most of your money is going on each appliances, like your key things like your heating, your hot water and so on. So that actually then can guide you in what you should attack first and what you should replace first in terms of energy efficiency that will give you best value for money. I remember this issue we had with the study here. We wanted um, a local architect and builder um, who had good sustainability credentials and knew about energy efficient design and it just came down to research. My name's Jeremy Gates. I'm a registered builder who's based in the Bayside area of Melbourne. I have a passion for sustainable building. So you've got another full height sliding door here. Yep. So you can zone, zone the whole section of the house yep. off. These scorecards are really good for us when we we're talking about the merits between the architect, the client and the builder because we can speak, I can give them costs on what it's going to do. So we discussed how much more was it to take all the plaster off and replace it and install the insulation. It, in the whole scheme of things, it wasn't that big a cost. Yeah, it wasn't. It gives the client the ability to make an informed decision on where they want to spend their money. The upgrades that we undertook to the house were mainly the building fabric. So we, when we had walls open, we upgraded the insulation. The windows were all replaced with double glazed windows around. Um, we upgraded the appliances that were had failed and needed replacing with high efficiency heating and cooling units and high efficiency hot water systems. So this section here we lost two structural walls. In this end of the window here it was actually a conservatory type thing, like a glass box. We had no way of controlling the heat on that. Then we actually opened this side up a lot more as well. This is all now double glaze, and I know this is directly west facing, but we control this with the shading that's available there, which we can adjust as we need. We had the house re-rated after the renovations were finished, and it came in at seven stars, which actually made us all extremely happy. It's really, really helpful being able to quantify the different star ratings. Knowing where you've come from and where you end up is terrific, because you can then understand how much of a difference you've made. It stays very comfortable all day. We often don't have to put the heating on until seven or eight at night. So yeah. it works, the insulation, the building shell, the double glazing, it's all working really well. We're now using a quarter of the energy that we used to use before and it is significantly more comfortable. I mean, we don't even have to have the heating on a lot of the times in the afternoons in winter. If there's a bit of sun, the house is warm. So this is where we started at a rather rubbishy one star. And ta-da, this is where we're at now. Seven stars, it's great. You must have been a fantastic builder. <laughs> <laughs> of course we did.